This week, episode 258 of Stogie Geeks, we have a live in studio Jake Healy from Ale House Cigar Bar over in Providence, Rhode Island. And my co host is the infamous Joe D. And we our special episodes, not only are we going to do the sticks of the week this week, uh, Jake, as a guest, has taken some time uh, to prepare his list of uh, top 10 for 2017 sticks. Joe D is going to review his list of his top 10 2017 sticks. And then we're going to do the sticks of the week right here on the Stogie Geek Show. This is a Security Weekly production. Broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island, it's the show where cigars burn slow, ashes fall fast, and cocktails flow steady. It's the Stogie Geek Show. The hat tip, can we play it? Yeah, one more time. Can I hear a... Yes! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the dirt. Guests and friends here in studio, including a regular cast of characters, Mr. Joe Hollywood to my right. How are you? That's awesome. Joe D's here. Rain Man's here. Happy What's going be, on, I love Joe D? Table discussions. Havana Cigar Club, located in Warwick, Rhode Island, is a great place to enjoy a drink and a cigar. Stogie Geeks listeners can find a $5 off coupon on our website by clicking the HCC logo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 258 of the Stogie Geek Show. I am your host this week, Joe Hozempa. Thank you, Paul, for allowing me the opportunity to sit in the host seat. I am here with my co-host, Joe D. Hi, how's it going, man? What's up, baby? Everything's going good? It is. All right. I'm excited about the show. Uh, we also have live in studio Jake Healy from Ale House Cigars. What's happening? Thanks for coming back. Absolutely. Over Thanks in for Providence, me. Rhode Island. I'm excited. I'm excited. Too. Excited to have you here. I've never had a chance to host a show with you here. Yeah. It, it, wait, Paul probably made a horrible decision by not hosting this. Let's go off the rails pretty quick. This is going to be a great. This is going to be a great show because this first, get and, weird. first and foremost, um, we have to start with what we are smoking because uh, it, it's it's not too often that I light a cigar and. A cigar I've never had before, and I'm like, oh, this yeah. is something differently good. We've got to pay attention to this cigar. Joe D, why don't you introduce what we are smoking? We're smoking one of the uh, two, re two new releases from uh, Cornelius and Anthony from uh, 2017, the Senora Sugars, Mexican San Andreas wrapper, uh, American binder, Nicaraguan filler, and uh, the Ariel is their, uh, their other new release. Both of these sticks are popping up all over the place on the uh, uh, top 10, top 25 uh, sticks of the year. And uh, it tastes the cigar, the Robusto size that we're getting into. Mm. And uh, give you a little, uh, little more on that as we get into it. It's going to be one of my sticks of the week. So, Yeah, this cool. is, like I said, uh, you, you had um, gifted these to us for, right pre-show. And I lit it up and I started talking. And then I stopped talking and said, whoa, we, it's, we're, we're it, definitely It's on. distracting. It's yes. that good. It's that, it, I mean, I took the, the cello off, sniffed the foot, and went, oh, this is going to be, this we're, is going to be good. We're out of the to get that, you know, pepper and earthy component uh, that play well together. And, uh, yeah, it's a nice, mm. nice solid stick. Mm. Nice 2 p.m. stick. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, um, next uh, sex, section, we're, we're going to do our regular sticks of the week. But uh, there's been... This is the time of year where a bunch of different cigar forums release their top whatever, 25, 10, whichever. Yep. Um, I know that when I had uh, done mine and prepared for the show, uh, it, it, I, I, and I'm speaking for myself, and, and you can certainly chime in here, yep. it, I had no problem at all coming up with them. Right. It was which order the racket yeah, oh, yeah for and sure. it was yeah. that like 11th 12th 13th 14th cigar that the that just that, didn't that, that, make just, the that, that just didn't make it and you know um i kind of alluded to that um when we were talking about the cigar aficionados top 25 of 2017 last episode and you know i, I wonder what kind of just made the cut you know and yeah. and so uh, when you uh, deliver your sticks, and, and the reason why I want to uh, kind of give this to you now, if, if you could kind of at, at, at the end kind of sneak in maybe one or two, because, you know, to, to not only cure my curiosity, so I guess I'm asking you for your official top 10, but 
kind of would like to know what didn't make the cut, you yeah, know. Well, and, and, and 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 it's not and it's not to single any type of cigar out, but you know, it, as much as uh, if any cigar forum or if any forum within any industry re- releases a top whatever, um, I I often think at least me as a consumer, so I assume that the Stogie Geeks listener would want to know the same questions, like what was was just close, you know? Because cause, uh, I'll be honest with you, when I did my tier and I put them in order, yep. and, and I had links to it so I can click to it and, and, and talk about it, I had to take like, f- I didn't know I was quite at 10, you know what I mean? So I just kept adding, 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 no, and then not, I did the order. Not easy. It's certainly and, fun, but you want to you want to get it right, and you want to give it, you know, do each each brand and stick uh, do justice. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that yeah. was my thing too, because there were a few companies that really stood out to me this year that did some amazing right. stuff, and I looked at my list at the end of it and was like, I have 10 cigars on here from maybe six different companies, six or seven, mm. but there, there were just a few that really killed it this year. Yeah. But, yeah, and, and I'm pissed I didn't smoke this before I did that list. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and and you you know you know also I think that um, over the past uh, three years I've been doing some sort a of a cigar forum, if you will. When I did my radio project, Cigar Club Radio, and then when I came on as a um, co-host of Stogie Geeks in January of 2016. So you know. N- we can't have a discussion without talking about the FDA and the FDA and all that entails and, you know, the, the going back and forth. So, you, you know, as a consumer, you might think, wow, the list might kind of dwindle, but it didn't. Yeah. You know, it didn't. It, 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 if you compare it to other lists, sure, maybe it did, but yeah. it, it seemed to, to there is a lot of sticks that really came out within 2017. Yeah, there's still people innovating. They're still blending. They're still working their craft despite the FDA because it could Absolutely. all be taken away but that doesn't yeah stop you from still trying to keep going and plugging Absolutely. through all right absolutely so uh how do you want to do this do you want to go 10 10 do you want to go uh uh 10 through 5 and then switch 10 through 5 how, how, how do you guys want to want to toggle this full disclosure I have two lists of 10 okay um, Viewers, viewers at home. Overachiever. You know. <laughs> no. All right, all right, all right. I, I've got a list. Uh, Next week, episode 259, <laughs> your new host, Joe D. <laughs> <laughs> Presents another top 10 list. I, I've got a, you know, I got a list with my, uh, wear my you know, cigar rep hat on. I'm going to abstain from the companies I rep on, on one list. And then it's just, you know, then a free for all. You know, my legit top 10, just, you know, barring uh, companies I, I rep for uh, currently. So, um, but that might be an interesting uh, little peek too. And, uh, yeah, and I've yeah. got you know, some of that, you know, certainly overlap and uh, some of those sticks that that wouldn't have made it that would have been, like you said, right on that cusp. Yeah. yeah. You know? All right. Um, so why don't we do this? Uh, why don't we go uh, tit for tat of your, or, or, or do you want to do your non rep list first? You want, you, you, you want to bang that out? Yeah. Okay. Let, let, we'll, we'll bang that out and then we'll, we'll, you guys can go uh, tit for tat to either 10 10 or, or 10 through 5 or whatever flows. So my uh, so wait a minute. So this is Jody's official. I don't rep the cigar. Right. Top but it's 10. that top good anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. it. <laughs> this is Jody's official top ten cigar. But I like it anyway. Even though it doesn't make me money. Yeah. Even though it doesn't make me money. <laughs> top ten list of 2017. Okay. Um, this is official. So it's, it's official right out of the gate. <laughs> By the uh, way, Story Geeks listener, grab a pen and pencil, write these down. Uh, yeah, the, seriously. They'll, they'll be up in the other uh, website as well. Uh, so you, you know, toggle back and forth and uh, compare and contrast. Uh, in the one hole, Southern Drawer, Rosa Sharon, and the Toro size. This was my legit number one cigar go to every day, sometimes twice a day if I'm, I'm fortunate enough. Uh, just crazy, uh, crazy taste. That's, can't get away from it. Oh, wait a minute. Dude, you're doing your overall then? This is my, this is my overall. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I thought it wasn't. Yeah, no, neither did right. I. I thought we okay. went doing your All overhaul. Right. What's going I'll, on here? I get confused easy. Okay. <laughs> Sereno Royale, uh, the Medio, and the Robusto Gordo size. Another another one of those uh, another one of those wins. In the three hole, Dunbarton, Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, Oyster de Saka, Naka Tamale. Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. If uh, you can find it. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, the four hole, the Coldwell Booth collaboration, the Hit and Run Corona size. Mm. Um, also ridiculous. Five hole Southern Draw Jacob's Ladder Robusto size. That's my uh, my personal favorite in uh, that size. 
In the six, back again, Steve Saka with the total Las Diaz, the double wide Bellicoso. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, number seven, Cornelius and Anthony Ariel Robusto. That's one of the new, uh, one of the two new uh, sticks from uh, Cornelius and Anthony. Sure. Number eight, Letelier Identite Melange, the special number two. I don't mm. know if you guys have. It's a good smoke. It, it's mm-hmm. a really good smoke. I and it it just made its way, uh, just made its way in. Um, they uh, just had an event recently. Finally got my hands on it. Got a chance to smoke <coughs> it. Smoked quite a few of them and grabbed a box right there. Uh, the number nine Crux PB5 Toro Extra Special Stick, mm. and uh, Crux could could be all over the map too. Uh, you know, all over in that that top ten, but for me that's uh, that's where it's at. And uh, the true estate, uh, Florida Sun Grown Toro. That's uh, that's my ten. That's my ten without that. So one. your number it one is, is Rosa the, Sharon. The, the Rosa Sharon. So yeah. the draw Rosa that, Sharon. That's a great in, smoke. Specifically in that Toro size. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's funny too. You know, it, we always try it on the show. Do our due diligence. Smoke all the sizes and compare and contrast. There's there's always that bell of the ball, that gem that that smokes right. And I uh, apologize to the listeners. My voice a little under the weather. It's okay. Try to try to play through. It's your Italian <laughs> voice. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it. Um, what was close to making it? Oh, you got you're gonna see on my next list. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that, you're switching this all up. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know what he's doing. You're switching this all up on me. Are you on cold medicine? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you know, <laughs> a little bit too much Nyquil and Sudafed happened. I was loopy last week, right? Because I was on cold medicine. Oh yeah. And, and now, did it and, have codeine in it? It did, didn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm crushing that Sudafed right now. Tell me that it works. Yeah, man. You yeah. gotta, you gotta keep it going. You know, keep it going. So, yeah, was this an easy list for you to construct? I was uh, take take the story geeks listener through through your process. It took me uh, took me about five hours, a lot of toggling, a lot of you know numerous lists. Um, it, it was it was not easy. I, I had to take myself back to uh, each smoking experience, go back to my notes, and um, you know these ten just absolutely on the forefront, and uh, I couldn't get away from it. You know, there's a lot of you know there's others, certainly others, and from you know, uh, some of the same companies, but um, Steve Saka right in there with uh, with two right in the top ten. Um, can't go wrong. And I, I know he's made quite a few other lists uh, across the board, but, you know, there are many like it, but this one's mine, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, spoiler alert for the Stoye Geeks listener, um, two of your sticks made my top ten. Really? Yeah. Nice. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, the, the, you know, that that's uh, the two I was like, all right, yeah, cool. And if I had a brim on my hat, I'd tip it to you right now. You know, really. but it, it, two, two of them. Nice. So it's uh, so uh, when I release mine, I'm assuming that's going to be next episode or Paul's going to release his next episode and right. however that goes. But um, uh, which I'm going to call it, 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 it'll give the Story Geeks listener even 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 more of an option. Yeah, a little reinforcement. Uh, yeah, there, yeah. To, to to do that. Any other ones that that stick in your mind that that didn't make the? Oh no, we, that's right. I'm sorry. Now he's got he's got to do his other top ten. I list. forgot. I forgot. I forgot. So the classical okay. retriever. I, well, <laughs> rest your voice. And nothing rest, and nothing, rest nothing your, else alike except for the cigar world. Re, rest your voice. So Jake. <laughs> yes. What's been going on over at Hanley's? We've been doing a ton of stuff over there. We got had some great events come up. Uh, right now we're working on our uh, event for the big game on. February fourth, mm. the, oh, the yeah. name of which I can't actually right. say because oh, yeah. of advertising stuff. It's going to be hosted by our friends at Kristoff. Okay, those lunatics will be in the house. Well, I don't know if Jared will be there, but Fozzie will be there. Yep. If you ever watch a football game with Fozzie, you know you want to watch a football game with Fozzie. That dude knows his football. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, and what we're going to be doing is the whole week leading up, you buy a Kristoff cigar, you get a swear square. Mm-hmm. We're going to be giving away some awesome Kristoff prizes. We'll be doing a usual Kristoff. Buy four, get one type of event, and mm-hmm. uh, we'll be giving away a flat screen TV too. Nice. Oh, nice. So, nice, nice. Full so disclosure: got... one of my favorite shops, and uh, anybody that's in that that Providence Metro, you come into town, you better hop over there. Yeah, so, we have fun. Yeah, it's a great, great time. Mm. Uh, Beautiful shop. Traffic's boosted up a little bit over the past couple of weeks. Um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little good. bit. Good. Good feel. A little you. bit. I'm still a little upset though. Okay. I'm still not happy because that little back room yeah. was perfect for me. Okay. Because you know how it is. When you, you, you can't go anywhere without somebody coming up to you every five minutes. And sometimes you just want to smoke a cigar and be left alone. Sure. Which by all means, no, if you see me, come up to me, say hi. But, you know, 
that that back room in that little corner. I'd put on a hat and I'd just sit there, and no one would see me. The and, newspaper. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that was my hiding spot. So now mm. now I got to find a new one. Mm. I got to find a new hole to crawl into. Yeah, yeah. You got to go to a different shop, maybe. Yeah. You know, I'll switch it up. But then you know, when you walk around Rhode Island, it's it's tough to not know someone. Who, oh yeah. Who you, who you run into. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, or, or the best is like if you walked into a shop and you see your customers, the best is like when it's like a deer in the headlights. Like, <laughs> oh, oh my God! Oh, I oh, just stopped. Oh, I'm, I'm only sorry. here for one. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I was in the neighborhood. I was in the neighborhood. I get all. Are you cheating on your own work? I'm like, oh. I, I, listen, I love the place, and I do go there on my days off pretty frequently. But there are sometimes you just don't want to go to the place you work. Sure. I'm like, do you go to your office on your day off? No. Okay, then don't don't. You know, I'll I'll go to a different cigar bar on my day off. Right, and right. We talked about it before. Half yeah. the fun is, uh, you know, if you have the luxury of, you know, numerous shops in the area, bouncing around, and you know, you actually work one of the premier shops, so you know, your table there, quite a bit, you know, during the yeah. week. So it's a, you know, it's it's not as often to get the venture out. You know, yeah, you go talk to other people, see what everybody else is doing, and we're all friends. That's the other thing. Everybody thinks for some reason every different shop yeah. they all hate each other because we're all competing. We're all friends. We all hang out. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it it's interesting. I I know when I worked in a shop, and uh, I would go to another shop, and they were like, "What are you doing here?" And I'm like, "I, I need to stay at different walls, yeah. man. Right. A ten hour shift, <laughs> a ten hour shift. A, a smoking you. a cigar and drinking. What else would I be you know, doing in a cigar it, bar right now?" Sure. <laughs> so so in regards to your promotion, um, between now and February fourth, mm -hmm. uh, they can stop by Hanley's. Yep. And um, are you doing the by four one all the way now until then or no? Nope, that'll only be on the Super Bowl. But it's the right. whole week leading up to the Super Bowl. We'll be doing the squares and we'll be yep. doing er, big game. all that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah for for, so, for the big game that no one knows who's going to yeah. be in it yet. Yeah, so 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 you're going to be doing that. And then so if they purchase a Kristoff between now and leading up to the Super Bowl, then they would be entered into a square. Yes. Yep. And the raffle, I'm assuming, is the same day as the Super Bowl. Well, the raffle is we've been doing it all football season. Okay. If you came in on a Sunday and you watch a football game, you just get a raffle ticket. So it's not even purchase required. We're just giving away a TV. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, wow. My question as a you know legit Kristoff fan, uh, you guys have a pretty uh, extensive uh, inventory of the Kristoff anyway as it is, but are there any uh, special Kristoffs that will be making their appearance? Any that 685 Chris Woodlawn? I don't know. I if it should Fozzie show up with some 685s, I will not be upset. You might have to put the squeeze on him. I, yeah. I might. We have a big game. It's a big event. Yeah, that's mm. true. Let's go to the big boys. You know? It's not a big. It's the big, the game. big game. The big game. Right. We can't call it what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know. It's it's, it's one uh, of those things. <laughs> it's crazy. It's amazing on on things you you can't say. And in, in my other uh, broadcast life on my radio show, I have uh, one of my sponsors is Dutch Craft Radka and Black Saddle Bourbon, and their commercial. Starts off with, you know, are we ready for our champions to go for ring number six? Like, it ends there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know, the feature, and then it gets into the promo, and they can't, you know, you can't say the word Patriots, and you can't say the word Super Bowl, and you can't, but see, this is a joy of yeah, podcast. Yeah, see, but you just did. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a joy of podcast. Ready? One, two, three. Patriots, Patriots, Patriots. Super Bowl, Super Bowl, <laughs> Super Bowl. Story Geeks, Story Geeks, Story Geeks. Semicolon. Patriots, Patriots. See, I use it all in the same sentence, right? There you go. Was that even a sentence? That was more of a list than a sentence. Yeah, well, yeah, well you, know, you know, whatever. Maybe, maybe I'm on the tail end of my code, so I'm not on as much codeine or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but but I am getting a little loopy, so. But more than normal. So, um, your humidor. Uh, but, but before we get into your your top ten. What's the, uh, anything new in there? Uh, that, yeah, I've been switching be it up a lot lately. Out? I've been trying to get some uh, some new blood in there. I just brought on Esteban Carrera, okay. which is doing really, really well. I have to reorder Southern Draw, actually. Mr. Brownstone? Which reminds me. Well, please. Mr. Mr. Brownstone in there? We're going to talk about Mr. Brownstone. Okay. There will be a Mr. Brownstone discussion coming up soon. Yeah. Yes, there will be. Uh, guess what? That's one of mine. It, my oh, list. Jesus. <laughs> they, 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 yeah. Actually, there may be more than one Esteban Carrera oh, on really? that list. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. They, they're, they're killing it right now. Yeah, they are. They're, just, they're great smokes. If you don't know about them, you, you should. Yes, absolutely, and, and and Jake will take us through that. So you've been getting some, 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 some good sticks in there, and, yep. and traffic's been going good, and everything's kind of status quo. Yep. Right. For the f we're, we're moving up in the world. Everything's Consumer. normal. Everything's normal yeah. with the business as as <laughs> as as much as normal can be, right? Yeah. Yeah. Put on sure. my uh, consumer hat. It's uh, it is one of my favorite shops. Not the, just the atmosphere, but the uh, cigar selection, and you know, most of that's due to uh, Jake. You know, Jake's a legit cigar guy. He gets it. He knows the. Uh, Knows what everybody wants. 
Yeah. Those tasty I, gems. You know, so. I don't know what's happened with me socially since May, but I ran into another cigar shop owner, mm -hmm. and it's like, where have you been? And I'm like, why? I went, they're like, you, last time you were in my shop was May. Mm. And then when I walked into his shop, um, it was the day after Christmas. I walked into his shop, and he goes, what are you lost? I says, <laughs> <laughs> I, I says, uh, uh, I says, why? The wow. first, the really? first thing he said to you me, you have right? that kind of the, missing the, the, an actress. The, the first thing he said to me, he goes, he goes, what are you lost? I says, no, why? He says, where have you been? And I says, I've been here. She goes, you have not been here since May. And I'm like, no way. I'm like, it can't be May. So then it was on my mind. So I checked my QuickBooks, and I'm like, he's right. Yeah. I have not been here since May. I have not been to your place probably since it was it was summertime. Yeah. Like, I don't know what. And I think I saw you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it was like it was like I don't know. I've, I've. It's like I've. I don't know what it's been with with schedule wise and and yeah, it's not like I haven't been smoking cigars. I just you know. So I I will get down there. Yeah. Uh, I gotta get I gotta get down there. I'm like I can't believe it. It's just it's just been just a crazy six months. I don't know where where that where the time is going. So you know, uh, how's the snow in Providence? Can I park okay? Yeah, you can park all right right now. All right, good. That's the good news. Good. Mrs. Romando's taking care of everything. <laughs> yeah. She's doing all right. Yeah, she's doing all right. There you go. I yeah. like it. I like it. All right. For those of you who don't know, uh, Mrs. Raimondo is our governor. So there you go. Um, sure. So top 10. Top 10? Let's do it. All right. Let's start on the bottom and work our way up. I got my notes on my phone. So and I... you have descriptions, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, of yeah. Course. Gonna, yeah. Okay. Right. So number 10, we're going a little, little expensive here, was the Davidoff 702. Mm. That cigar came out so, so good. Yes. They did it because... I, the price of Connecticut wrapper is just going up and up and up and up and up, and it's getting more and more expensive to use it. Yep. So they use an Ecuadorian wrapper on it that still keeps it mild, that still gives it that kind of mild, medium Davidoff signature flavor. Yep. But it, it's it's good. Yeah, it is. It's just a good smoke. Yeah, it is. Um, Any particular size or? On that one, no, not really. It, I I think I smoked a Toro when I wrote the list out. Yep. Um, but that that's a great smoke. Which is a good problem to have, too. Yeah, yeah penciled into one particular size. Yeah, they all play. They all play well. That they whole all series play, 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 plays very well, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, number nine, Esteban Carrera Covenant. I actually brought some of these, too, by the way. Mm. Yes. Esteban Carrera Covenant, um, specifically in the box press Torpedo Maduro. Mm -hmm. This cigar is so good. It's like smoking a chocolate bar. It really is. It, it, it's just it's medium body. It's not full. It's got this dark, smooth... Easy, a lot of smoke on every puff. It's just that good of a stick. Mm -hmm. Esteban Carrera really killed it this year. Um, another company who killed it was Foundation. Mm. Number eight, I got the Elway Wednesday Maduro. Specifically in the Torpedo, if you can f even find them. Because yeah. I, I haven't seen them in quite some time. That, that is... came out and then had hype. And you, you can't find them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, uh, I don't think you can get them anywhere in, 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 in our travels in, in, in Rhode Island, Providence, yeah. Metro. I tripped over a few of them up in uh, New Hampshire this past weekend. Uh, but, yeah, that stick has moved like crazy. And that's it's just that, because that, it was so good. For me, that it's, that's one of those absolute – I had to go back and forth. It was tough. Um, it, it, and, you know, I think it was tough for you know, filling in that, that back end. They could have been you know, another 15 legit contenders right in the mix. Oh, yeah. They, they – Foundation really had a good year. Yep. Um, another company who had a killer year this year was Drew Estate. Mm -hmm. Drew Estate did a great, great job. Um, and the cigar they came out with that really impressed me was the Sun Grown, especially mm. in this little flying pig. I love this size. Yeah. I really do. That's Even though it, it's, it's bigger than what I usually smoke ring gauge-wise, it holds that ash so well. It's so much fun to smoke because you can just take the band off and keep going. Mm -hmm. And it just hold the ash doesn't drop. You could stand them up like a nub. It's great. There and that blend, it hits that mild medium, right? It falls right in between the Maduro and the shade, which is perfect. That's exactly what they needed to do. But then it has this spice on the finish that just kind of wakes you up. Like you don't taste it initially, and after you blow out, you get like a little, oh hey, there's there's more to that. Mm -hmm. Shame on anybody who quits on a cigar too early, man. This, <coughs> they set it up that way for a reason. You get you know, a little uh, little surprise at the end. Yeah, nice. yeah. I, I I try to smoke it is until oh, yeah. I can till I can handle it. You know. Oh yeah, I've definitely gotten burns on my fingers before. Mm -hmm. Um, number six is my new morning smoke. This is my new morning coffee everyday smoke. It's the Debonair Daybreak. Mm. I haven't had that one. Yet. 
Ta -da. Thank you. Oh, Phil, yeah. well played. <laughs> there you go. For starters, Phil, who owns Debonair, is one of the sweetest guys on the face of the planet, and that mm. cigar holds a special place in my heart for a lot of reasons. Okay, but it's just that good. You're gonna tell us the story, you know? Well, it, it, a friend of mine was going through some medical stuff, and Phil found out about it, and um, he really wanted. He actually, I was tossing around going back and forth, going to Vegas. I, mm. I wound up not going to Vegas this year for the show, mm -hmm. but a buddy of mine, a couple weeks before the show, sent me the press release for Daybreak and says. Please, if you can, bring me back one of these. Because he's, he's a huge Connecticut shade smoker. He's like, I have to have this cigar. Because he's a hu huge fan of the Habano, huge fan of Phil's. And um, I wound up not going. And through some channels, Phil had found out about his little medical problems. And, well, I say little. Right. The huge sure. medical problems. Yep. And uh, sent him a little care package with a couple of day breaks in it before they were even released. Oh, mm. okay. So, Phil, Phil's a great Solid guy. Move. All it's good. always good when you know you're supporting someone that's awesome when you Absolutely. smoke a cigar. And yeah. that's the other thing is, 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 is Phil is just a great guy. He makes great cigars. He really cares about the, not just the people that smoke them, but he cares about making sure that the cigar is perfect every single time. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a good point, like where you have uh, shows like this that, you know, where you know, when we get the opportunity to interview the guy or the gal yeah. who, who's in charge and, and, and you really get a, a, a feel for his or her personality and you, you really meet so many nice people within this industry. Yeah, there, there are very few people in the cigar business that are not awesome. They're all old school people. You know, a handshake is their word. Mm -hmm. Old they're, school values you got to respect. Oh, yeah. Them. No, th there's, there's very, very, very few people that I've met in the cigar business that I've left her room not saying they are the coolest people on the face of the planet. Mm. And it, it, like I said, it's not, everybody views it as like this competition, like this brand's competing with this brand's competing with this shop, competing with this shop. We're all just having fun. Right. We're doing what we love. So we like hanging out with each other and talking about how we do what we do. I hear, uh, you know, how, how our stories uh, elsewhere, uh, elsewhere in the country, you know, but here, um, everybody plays pretty well. You know, it's, it's, it's yeah. nice, uh, this, you know, family kind of unit going on. But even, it's, it's even nice. I mean, even in Vegas at the show two years ago, I was hanging out with Tony Gomez, Steve Saka, and Pete Johnson. Yeah. Like, they own three companies. Technically, they compete against each other. Yeah, but we can all sit around and have a few drinks. and. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, it because it, it, I think that the consumer, if you look at it from a competition perspective, the consumer, there are not that many consumers now with the plethora of brand new sticks that are coming out and keep coming out. And the the um, push for performance that that all of these new sticks are trying to to go yep. that somebody just says I just smoke X. There are a few out there, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure, sure you have customers, but you know if you put 25 people in a room, I would probably say two of them smoke just X. The yeah. rest of the 23 will jump all around and whatnot. And 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 when it comes to market share, I mean, I think it's great that you know that you know the you can kind of be uh, Frenemies is the sales cliche. You know what I mean, <laughs> yep. you know where where you know you you kind of share, um, you know you you're, you're sharing the market share, but you know you're also b b boosting up each other's brands. Yeah, as well. So well, I mean, I grew up in the food business too. My dad has been in the food business since '89, and that that's one of those businesses that it's like, I'm going to take your house. I'm going to take your car. I'm mm. going to, I'm going to put cutthroat. you out of business. It's yeah. so cutthroat. It's mm. so, and people don't realize how cutthroat it is. It's really, it's like vicious. Whereas in the cigar business, it's like, Hey man, listen, I make cigars. They're really good. Put them in your shop, try them out. If they don't work, they don't work. If they do, they do. And we'll right. have fun in the process. Right. Yeah. There's a couple of cigar, sh cigar shop owners that, you know, you, you can just tell that they're not having fun. And they're 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 not you know in whatever business position that 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 they're in, but the ones that really, you know, push the new brands and and you know uh, become a resource for the consumer where, where you de where you develop a relationship with your tobacconist. I think they relish that role of uh, you know bringing high quality, delicious sticks to uh, people that love them. You yeah, know? I love I love doing it. Yep, and it, you got to do it at different great. price points, obviously. Yeah, you know, so yeah, for sure. So Get back to your list. So we're in what top five now, right? We are. Um, are we on top five? I don't. I, I got to so. unlock my phone now. It's okay. Um, yep, we're on top five. This All is right. number five, and believe it or not, it's a Drew Estate three P. Okay. Drew Estate really killed it this year. 
Pappy Van Winkle tradition. Yep. The price point on this is high. Yes. It is. Yep. For sake of full disclosure, it, it's an over twenty dollar cigar, especially in this size. It's the Bellicoso Fino. This is my favorite size. I charge twenty one for these. Mm -hmm. This was the first blend Willie Herrera ever did for Drew Estate. He did it during mm -hmm. his um, sort of trial period, mm -hmm. and for a long time they were making them just for the Van Winkle family. That those were the only people that could smoke them. Um, now, obviously, because of the FDA, it's a blend that they've had for a while, so they decided to release it to the public, and it's that good. It's medium. It's smooth. Um, what's the wrapper on it? I keep forgetting. Uh, it's Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrap. That's what it is. It, it, it's just, it's sweet. It smokes perfect. I mean, Will, Willie Herrera's a genius anyway. Killed it with that one. Yeah, uh, that stick, um, I, I, I put that on one of our sticks of the week. And, you know, I, I you know, I, obviously I gave it a high, a, a high rating. I thought it was a great stick. Um, I also s had a disclosure where I said, you know, if you, uh, because of its price point, if, if you want to, you know, use this as a celebratory stick, as opposed to going to, through, to a traditional, I'm going to get a Padron Anniversario, or I'm going to get a, a Davidoff, something or other, yeah. you know, it, it, try that stick. It, it's a really, really good stick. Absolutely. I think know? it's one of those sticks also that, uh, are just going to age very well. Um, I, you know, I had a couple, a uh, couple initially, Liked them, felt the you know, a little bit of age. Now we're, uh, you know, six months removed or more, and they're really smoking right, right. Yeah, now. They, I mean they 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 are smoking right, definitely. The twenty dollar yeah. price point, uh, table yourself down, do yourself uh, a service, and uh, just enjoy it. Yeah. You know? yeah, and again, if you are a Davidoff smoker, it's it's right in that medium. Mm -hmm. It's going to be right in line with Davidoff. If you're a Padron natural smoker, it's going to be in line right. with what you like too. Yep. So it, it it's just it it's I was really really happy with that cigar. The first time I smoked it, and it hasn't let me down since. Yeah, I was impressed as well. Okay, so number are, four. We're on number four. Uh, number four is interesting because it's polarizing. I've had a lot of people tell me they love it. I've had a lot of people tell me they don't. It, it, it's one of those cigars. Either you love it or you don't. And I happen to love it, so I brought it. Uh, the Laura ADN. Mm, yeah. That Anduyo filler is very, very polarizing. They use a filler in this that um. It's basically an ancient way of curing tobacco that hasn't been used recently. It's usually used for pipe tobacco. Right. And Manuel, who, you know, he loves to play with blends and loves to do different stuff. Genius. He says, you know what? I'm going to throw this in the filler of a cigar and see what happens. I think it came out awesome. For my palate, that's a great stick. Yep. Yep. Mm. I uh, agree. Yeah. I, I agree. When, when, when we had uh, Manuel on the show and uh, Willie on the show. Yep. And they introduced us, and then we had a video. What was the episode number, Joe? You don't know? Uh-oh, Cody. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Cody. I'm going to play around the Cody. Cody. <laughs> I expected, Joe, it's 241. No, that, right? that was, uh, for, yeah, that no, was a great that, episode. That was the well. one where, where we had an episode, and then right at the end of the Stogie, Stogie Geeks episode. Very educational. There was an educational uh, clip um, that we had attached to the podcast here. And, you know, it, it was it, it an interesting process. Um I fell in love with the stick. You know, yeah, I, absolutely. I, I, I fell in love with the stick, but I could see where um, it, it, it could be polarizing for some people. Great word. Yeah, but yeah. see, see for me, me, it's a it's a monotony breaker. Mm -hmm. Cause, you know, after a while, you smoke so many cigars, you want something that tastes really different than anything else, and that Anduyo really does taste different than anything else that's on the market right now. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of snaps your palate back to mm. being able to taste everything else. We'll get back to that on uh, on my list. I, I've got one of those polarizing uh -oh. things. Yeah. Nice. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three is interesting because it was mine first. Alec Bradley, two years ago at the show, decided rather than release nine million sticks like everybody else mm. and worry about having to, you know, dish out, you know, ten different new cigars all mm. at the same time, mm -hmm. they said, what we're going to do, because everybody's worried about the FDA, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of shops have exclusive blends. Mm. So this was exclusive. I think actually Hill and Harbor got a different one, okay. which is our sister company, which is another great cigar bar. Go check that out oh, yeah. whenever you can. Um, so I wound up getting this cigar, and they've changed the band on it. This is the one that um, was released to us exclusively. Um, I know they changed the band on it. I thought I had one with the new band on it, and I couldn't find it. So it's not going to look like this. Okay. It also hasn't shipped yet. Okay. So you're going to have to hunt this down. Very, very shortly, but this Alec Bradley Prince Auto Lost Art is insanely 
mm. insanely good. Can I see that? Yeah, yeah. I think the uh, the new band is it, is it a reddish? Uh, yeah, reddish I don't like the, the new, new band, band as much as I like the old one. Actually, that that band right there pops. Too bad they uh, they didn't stay with. Yeah, because that. that one's got the double band. The new ones have the single band on. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. It smokes like a Prensado, but it's a little smoother. It's a little deeper, and it's got a little bit more richness to it. It's it's like the Prensado, but better. Is it media? Like yeah, it's got, it, it's got a little. It's not. I wouldn't say it's fuller. Mm-hmm. It's just they kind of reduced the spice on a little bit, added more cream. They put more coffee note into it. it. It's 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 a good good smoke. I like it better than the regular Prince Auto. Mm. A lot better than the regular Prince Auto, actually. That made number three. That made number three. Wow. Number two, I don't have with me, and the reason why I don't have it oh, with I'd me. Oh, it. Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it up. The reason why I don't have it with me is because <clears throat> I brought it in just to see what would happen. And I brought in two boxes of Toro and two boxes of Robusto. That's 80 cigars. And they were gone in four days. Right. Especially considering the price point they're at. Okay. That's amazing. That's the High Clare Castle. The who? The High Clare Castle. Okay. Yeah. That Toro size of the High Clare Castle is so, so. New is so from uh, Nick Ridiculous. Malone Foundation. Yeah. Nick, 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 I mean, Nick's killing it right now. Had a good year. He's yeah. at, he had a great year. Yeah. And what I like about it is that it's not your typical Connecticut wrap mild cigar. Because, you know, you, you smoke some of the Connecticut's, it's like smoke and air. There's not a yep. lot of flavor to them. He put a Brazilian binder on that with fillers from two different regions of Nicaragua. And there was another filler he used that I'm going to have to look on my phone to see what it was called. I, I just finally remember. found one uh, up in New Hampshire this past weekend, and uh, I can't yeah. wait to smoke it. I, there's certainly, you know, a tremendous amount of hype behind it. I want to see if it's real. It uh, is. Trust your opinion. It's 100% so, yeah. real. Yeah. It's called a Nicodan filler. So it's a new hybrid seed. I don't know if he yeah. did that himself with the where he made his own hybrid or right. if it's just a new thing. But that cigar, it, it's creamy. It's got a ton of flavor to it, but it's not going to, for the mild smokers, it's not going to knock you on your ass. Mm. What's the price point? You mentioned that it had a phenomenal price point. Uh, not phenomenal. It, okay. it's, it's, it's expensive. My word, my bad. It, 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 it's it's <laughs> 16 oh, okay. for a Toro. Okay. Um, which is a little high for a Connecticut cigar, especially considering you can get, you know, like an Alec Bradley Connecticut for... Right, eight nine bucks. Okay, um, but it's definitely worth the extra money because it is that much better. And than, so now you you can't get these. They're, they're I can't get them. They're they're just it's an Elway Wednesday Maduro situation all over again. They hit they hit hard and now they're just gone. Mm. Right. So mm. hopefully I should have more in soon. One of the one of those uh, seek and destroy sticks. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They, they they I I couldn't believe how fast they went. Right. Right. And number one. Number one. I told you it was going to be on the list. Mr. Brownstone. Ooh, yeah. Oh, my God. Is this, yeah. is this not one of the best cigars? That is, I, I, when I, I, I that's on my list. Yeah. And, and you know, for, for a spoiler alert, that's on my list. And I just, when I was doing my list, it just kept bumping it up, bumping yep. it up, bumping yep. it up, bump, I just, it just bumped up. That's what it started off when we grabbing it out of the humidor, putting it down and saying, this has to be on the list somewhere. And as I started going through all the cigars I've smoked, because I, I don't like the top 10, top 25 lists mm-hmm. when it's overall. Mm-hmm. I, I, I should be cigars that came out in 2017, in my mind, it should mm-hmm. be at least. And so I, I was thinking about the cigars that came out this year, and I had that put off to the side. And as I went down the list, <clears> I was like, yeah, that was good. But it wasn't as good as the brownstone. Yeah, this was good, yep. yeah. but it doesn't beat the brownstone. And by the time I was done, it was at number one. And it, it's just... Yeah, you could have that benchmark, that's yeah. for sure. It's yeah. that full-bodied... It's got, almost got like a Liga Pravada T52 thing going on. It, it's got the spice. It's got the sweetness. It's delicious. Yeah. yeah. V-cut? Always. Yeah. Always a V-cut. Yeah. I always V-cut that V-cut. thing. And, and, and that, that's been one of one of my go-tos for for uh ever since it came out right you know which i judge you know yep. which which i judge and i came and, and it goes and, and i'm like yeah that that definitely yep. yeah so it's, I, one of those, it's like when somebody says they're coming out with a connecticut broadleaf cigar you always go yeah but is it better than league of bravada mm-hmm. this is one of those ones where it's like yeah it, it, is it better than a brownstone though mm-hmm. and the price yeah. point on it's great it, they're, they're like a 10 11 dollar stick i charge 11 for the 660 yeah right. Yep. The price point's good. It's a got great flavor. I've been selling them like hotcakes. I'm gonna be out soon. Yep. What didn't make the cut? What didn't? Well, this. Jesus, Christ. Joe. Why did you not give me this last week? <laughs> I, ju- I just took on uh, <laughs> <clears throat> full disclosure. I just took on Cornelius and Anthony uh, in the last couple weeks, and so they just fell into my lap now. But uh, yeah, if I were to re-rack it again, mm. it's uh, it's gonna find its way in there. Yeah. I think when you pass on these samples, you're gonna, you're gonna have no problem. 
Nice. Yeah, yeah the, the, you know. the, there's no issue here, trust me. Yeah. Due to uh, great time constraints from the staff, want me to blast through uh, this quick 10 here? Yeah, 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 right. yeah. we have a couple minutes for Hard a second, and, and then we're going to do the stogies of the week. 2017 top 10, uh, you know, wearing that, that rep hat. Um, in the 10 hole, the upsetters, the Django size, not typically, uh, you know, you know my kind of flavor, my kind of my kind of stick. It's just one of those polarizing different sticks that I'll reach out to every now and then to uh, change it up. Your palate's busted out. You know, you want to you want a different uh, different look, different feel. Uh, for me, in that Django size. And see, it's funny you say that because Nick actually gave me one of those. Yep. And I was sitting with him, and I lit it up, took one puff, looked at him, and said, "Yeah, I can't do this." <laughs> it, it, it's yeah, it's it not is normally infused. a stick. You, it's not a stick you want to. Uh, Light up in you know in a nice lounge. You're gonna probably offend a few people, uh, but that Jamaican tobacco, it's uh, it's a different animal altogether. Yeah. You know, um, the nine hole the Yavo Synchro Ritmo Torpedo mm. Lago mm-hmm. size, uh, just tremendous stick, and that that size uh, it really you know really plays well. Uh, AJ Fernandez New World Connecticut Corona Gorda size. This is one of my normal go to morning smokes. Uh, just really enjoy it. Number seven MLB Ventures. David P. Ehrlich, the Toro. Yes. Yeah. Love yeah. this. I mean, Mike Bellity does a tremendous job all sticks, but uh, the David P. Ehrlich just it hits me right, man. It's uh, tasty as hell. Uh, number six, Drew Estate, you know, the Florida Sun Grown. The Crux PB5 in the five hole. Letelier, uh, Identite, Melange in the four. And then Steve Saka captured the uh, the top three for me. In the one hole, the Moisture Saka knocked the Bali. Uh, the Cold Ball, Coldwell Booth uh, collaboration, the Hit and Run Corona, and number three, the uh, Total Osteus, um, in that uh, double wide bell go. So, um, mm. Steve Saka, man, killed it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Saka, Foundation, and what was the other? Drew. Drew. Saka yeah. Foundation and Drew had a, had a, a a solid presence this year. Big Which is year. funny because they're all Drew guys. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Might be onto something. Yeah. We'll see. When we There's come back. something in the soil. When we come back, we're going to hit our Stogies of the Week. Stay tuned. Well done. 